So I've got the apples, and they look gorgeous from the farm. And now I'm just gonna make pie crust. I don't know why, but I think people find pie crust more daunting than anything else that we make. I'm gonna show you the secret of really good pie crust, and it's about very cold ingredients. So I'm gonna start with three cups of flour, just regular all-purpose flour. Spoon of sugar. And one teaspoon of salt. I use kosher salt. Now for the shortening. There are all kinds of debates about what kind of shortening to use for pie crust, but I actually combine vegetable shortening and I do it very cold. It comes out of the refrigerator. And butter. And then you get all of the flakiness of the vegetable shortening and all the flavor of the butter. So that's a third of a cup of vegetable shortening. And I have one and a half sticks of cold butter that I've diced, and I actually put it back in the refrigerator until I was ready, so it's really cold. Put that right in. And now comes the critical part. What you want in the dough is little bits of butter and shortening through the dough. You don't want it totally pureed. And that's what makes it flaky. When the heat from the oven hits the butter, it causes steam to evaporate, and that's what makes it really flaky. So when you're doing this, make sure it's not totally pureed in the flour. I'm just going to pulse this about eight times until it's like the size of peas. Maybe 10 times. So you can still see bits of butter and shortening in the flour and that's what's gonna make really flaky pastry. I'm gonna do maybe one more pulse. Okay, so the next thing is ice water. And I need about eight tablespoons, which is about a half a cup. So I'm gonna pour out the ice. Excellent. So I'm gonna turn this on. And just let it go around until it forms a ball. Okay, we're there. So now I'm going to refrigerate it for about 30 minutes. It's a really important part of making good pie pastry. OK, now for the filling. Deep dish apple pie. Four pounds of apples cut up in big chunks. And I'm going to flavor it with a little bit of orange zest and lemon zest. One tablespoon of orange juice and two tablespoons of lemon juice. This not only flavors it, but it keeps the apples from turning brown. Half a cup of sugar. It all depends on how sweet the apples are. These are pretty tart. Quarter of a cup of flour. And a teaspoon of salt. Okay, now for the spices. Three quarters of a teaspoon of good cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of good nutmeg. Mm, I love the way it smells. It smells like apple pie spices already. Okay, eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, which is really a pinch. And then I'm just going to mix it all up. And then right into the crust. This is a lot of apples for this pie crust, but I like it when it's piled high. Mile high apple pie. Okay, now for the top crust. Ready for the pie. Roll it up on the rolling pin. And roll it really gently over the apples. There's so many different ways to crimp a pie. I think everybody likes to do it the way their mother did it. But what I like to do is just roll the top crust underneath the bottom one. I want to make this really old fashioned looking. Okay, once that's done, you can either crimp it with a fork. Crimping is about keeping the two crusts together so it seals in the juices. Or you can do it with your fingers. I think I'll, I'll do it with my fingers. Okay. Crimped. Now, I'm going to do an egg wash. It's going to make the crust really nice and brown, which is one egg beaten with about a tablespoon of water or milk or whatever you have. Just brush the whole top. Okay, a little bit of sugar, make it nice and shiny. And then just a few holes in the top to let the steam escape so the crust gets nice and crisp. Sort of old-fashioned. 
Okay, into the oven, 400 degrees for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Now that's an apple pie. And my favorite part is it makes the house smell fabulous.